I'm gonna start doing these a lot more now. Basically doing these um, evening vlogs or whatever. Okay, so last time I streamed live, I talked about a comment that I got about a pair of Bluetooth headphones that I got for God, I can't even remember. And it's been that long since I did the the, vid, the video unboxing or whatever. Uh, anyways, so the comment was pretty rude, and um, ah, whatever, you know. But anyways. So I've been trying to wrap my head around how I am going to talk about these uh, wireless Bluetooth headphones, which do which does come with an auxiliary auxiliary bleh, auxiliary cable, so you can um, if the battery dies on it, you can just use it like regular headphones. Um, the problem is, is that you know I can only just describe to you the experience that I have. It's not like I can place these right there and then start playing music, and you would actually hear like the clarity and the bass and all that stuff. Uh, I gotta tell you, for for this for this Bluetooth right here, the Andour um, wireless headphones, they are actually pretty good for what they cost. Okay, are they anything like Beats Audio? Hell no, they're nothing like Beats Audio. Okay, and if you're thinking that something like this is going to be able to match up against Beats Audio, you're out your blocker. But do they work as headphones? Yes. Do they sound very generic and cheap? No. Do they have a bit of quality of it? Yes, they do. They have a nice quality of it. And the audio is really loud. So that's pretty much all I can say about these headphones. Um, they're nice. They're, the ear cups are they're not, they're not the best. They're not the most comfortable, but they will do. And, um, of course, you know, over here you have your uh, charge port right there. Um, you have a skip track and increase, decrease volume. They double up as those buttons. And then the on and off switch is right here behind um, the headband. And, you know, they're not heavy. Uh, they got a built-in uh, amplifier. You got a little LED light right here. And then there's your uh, 3.5 millimeter headphone jack for the auxiliary cable to plug into. And then your microphone is right there. So the uh, Andour uh, Bluetooth headphones. That's the best review I can give anyone on it, really, because I, I think the best uh, reviews for headphones are ones that people can just pop on and sample. But I, you know, you guys can't do that. It's not like we live in a world where I can pass things through the internet and you guys can grab it on your end. But will I say that it's worth getting? Yeah, it is worth getting. You know, if you don't want to spend a hundred dollars on Beats Audio, you want yourself some good Bluetooth wireless uh, headphones that work really good, um, that have pretty good sound, clarity is okay. Bass is top, not top notch, but it's up there, and uh, volume is loud. Then uh, I think the, I think I got these for like eleven or twelve bucks. But yeah, definitely a good pickup. Okay, so now that we got that out the way. Um, now I've noticed on my videos, and you know, it's it's nothing really bad because I expect these things to happen. That's how some of my videos, I always see the uh, thumbs down. Thumbs down. You know, personally, I think YouTube should get rid of the thumbs down. You know, I used to support the thumbs down button because I always figured that if someone thumbs down your video, they will tell you why they thumbs down your video, which would then be a, you know, constructive criticism and much welcome feedback. However... I am not really getting that. I'm getting thumbs down, but no one really saying any reason why they dislike the video. Yeah, I do have people who who um, leave um, who critique my video and leave constructive criticism, you know, and I, and I support that. And I've always said too, you know, if you're gonna thumbs down the video, you know, I'd like to know why you dislike the video. Just tell me, you know. But you know, if you're doing it to troll, come on, you're not gonna get that kind of attention out of me. You're not gonna get me to go in, into a war of words with you. And, you know, whatever you're expecting out of it, some sort of uh, drama or whatever. Um, yeah, you're not going to get that out of me. So, is what it is. Um, that's something else I wanted to talk about. All right, so, doing videos on YouTube. Everyone needs to have their own style. 
that's what I think makes people unique. Um, I've said this before, and that's, you know, because I am an Android enthusiast. I rely on Android to make some of my videos to show, you know, what Android can do. And, uh, yeah, you know, that's my thing. I don't, you know, if someone else does the same thing, hey, more power to them. Um, I don't know. It's a fine line between uh, biting somebody and then, you know, just having similar things. I don't know if you guys can see him, but my son is back there. <laughs> my son's chilling out with me right now. But uh, I don't know. I got a message from someone that was, you know, just kind of weird. I don't want to pay too much attention to it, but, you know, they were like, so-and-so is copying your stuff. And, yeah, you know, um, if it is, it is, you know. Uh, if it's not, it's not. Really, you know, it just depends on, you know, scenario. I mean... You know, sometimes we like the same things and sometimes, uh, you know, we review the same things. You know, that's inevitable. That That's the thing that can't be controlled on YouTube. And, you know, if I review it first, you know, someone else reviews it afterwards, doesn't necessarily mean that they're copying me. You know, but if they use, like, the same things that I say, like, it, it, you know, like, um, if they use the exact same wordage, phrase, um, then, yeah, I can definitely see that. And, and if it happens more periodically than just one time. I mean, once or twice, you know, people tend to think the same way, so that could possibly happen. But if it's, like, more than 10 times that, you know, one YouTuber says something, the other YouTuber says the exact same catchphrase or thing or whatever, then, yeah, it's biting. Um, you know, but, I mean, really, I don't have time to pay attention to anyone that does bite. I mean, if they bite, that just sucks for them. They can't be original and think of their own stuff, right? Well, that's the way I look at it. So uh, no, no, no real big reason to raise any red flags and get all hostile about it. Um, it is what it is. So anyways, the uh, Stylo 2 versus the J7. I really wasn't too happy with that video. I don't know why I put it out. Um, I, I know I could have explained more, which is why I'm going to make a part two. I'm going to make a part two and dive down deeper into uh, the comparison between the both. And I think that just more of like is just like, I guess, an introduction into the comparison between both phones. But I think I am going to go ahead and uh, and do a part two. I'm probably going to work on that uh, this coming up week. So it'll be next week that it comes out, that video. Um, yeah. Also, I want to give a shout out to Tony Pazzo for the invite yesterday. Um I was kind of busy yesterday, but they uh, they wanted to um, – they had this tech talk with uh, Jay Williams and a couple other guys, and they invited me in to, uh, to go. But fortunately, I was pretty busy, so I wasn't able to go. And I um, wasn't able to get online and, you know, do a live, uh, you know, hangouts on air with them. It would have been dope to uh, join that panel of, um, of tech heads and – discuss things like blackberry and all that stuff i mean i did watch it i just wasn't able to join in on it and really quick i'm gonna put you guys on snapchat with me snapchat people vlogging right now and you guys are now in the vlog all right i'm gonna put you guys on snapchat with me snapchat people vlogging right now and you guys are now in the vlog <laughs> Got to keep my Snapchat stories up. By the way, if you guys want to follow me on Snapchat, no, I want to make sure I give you guys the right one. Last time I said it, I said it wrong, and then people, um, yeah, so it's Tito. I always tell people it's Tito. I forget that there's a dot in there, and if you don't put the dot, you find the wrong one. <laughs> so Tito. it's A-Y-O dot T-I-T-O. That's my Snapchat username. You guys can follow me on Snapchat if you guys want. Uh, but anyways... Um, yeah, so I'm going to work on the part two for the uh, Stylo 2 versus uh, J7. Then i also work the G Stylo versus J7. Um, yeah. I think that's it I'm going to vlog for right now. That's tonight's vlog. So, if you turn on my vlog, uh, I feel it this way because I'm trying to see if my son is like, there he is. <laughs> hey, buddy. 
You're on the vlog. There he is right there. <laughs> Say hi. Yeah, it'll be a year next month. So, um, anyways, yeah, thanks for checking out the vlog, guys. And you'll see me later.